different ideas to decorate a cactus cookie. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can decorate a cactus cookie even if you don't have a cactus cookie cutter. For the cactus on the left of your screen, I'm going to leave you a card so you can see the tutorial. And for this other cactus, you can use your firm consistency icing and a decorating tip number 225 of Wilton. For this project, you will need these cookie cutters. You will need templates or stencils, or you can make your own if you don't have them. You can use this kind of laminate material and it will be very nice to use it as a cookie cutter. You also are going to need a knife. You're going to need an egg or egg white. The best recipe for cutout cookies and royal icing. Very well, you are going to use this cookie cutter or something similar and we're going to cut just the pot of this cookie. And then you are going to cut your cookie if you have a cookie cutter or you're going to use a stencil or a template to cut your cactus, okay? So I'm going to use this kind of knife to cut our cookie. And then also you can make different designs of cactus and you are going to cut your cookies the same way I'm doing it. Okay, here is your template and here you have your cookie, okay? Then for the pot we are going to cut the top part so it can get and look like this and then we're going to glue it together with egg whites or with egg. You will do the same thing using the other templates. Then you will need to bake your cookies at 350 and let them cool. Meanwhile, you can prepare your royal icing and tint it in different colors. For the pots, you're going to need pink, blue and yellow. You will start by decorating the bottom of your cookies. Then you are going to prepare green royal icing using avocado and from that color you're going to start adding the different shades of green to make different colors. Add your green icing to your cactus and let them dry. It's time to add the final touches. For this case, I'm going to make some lines and then I am going to add a little bit of gold sprinkles. And you are going to do the same thing with all the cookies, just using different sizes and colors of sprinkles.
If you don't want to add a lot of detail to your cookie, you can use an edible marker to mark the lines and also to make the spines. Okay, I think so that's it. Thank you very much for coming today. I hope that you have learned a lot in this video and if you don't have the cookie cutters, just make them yourself. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!